beliefs. We have beliefs that are so hard to change. Even when cognitively we know that they are probably not correct. Why is it so hard to change beliefs? I'm Barbara Down, and I've chosen this topic to talk to you about today because beliefs are so much a part of the stuttering complex. They're one of the branches of the hexagon. And we have beliefs about stuttering that really are not even supported by research. And we have other beliefs that research does support. But still, people who stutter and therapists are still relating to stuttering according to the old beliefs. Old beliefs are things like stuttering is a problem of rhythm, it's a difficulty in saying words, uh, it's a lack of control over how you're going to speak, it's an emotional problem only, it's uh, something that we can never change, these are all of the beliefs that people go by when they think of stuttering and they are not the reality. The reality is that so many people have changed the way they speak and so many people in many different ways have gotten over stuttering. So the fact that there's no way to stop stuttering, that's not true and we know it. The fact that you can say every word, that is the truth. Because if you couldn't say every word, why would you say every word when you're singing? It's not the word. There are so many things that researchers have shown that we don't even take into consideration when we're treating people who stutter. Because our beliefs are so logged into us, they are so deep within our belief system. Now, we hear something and when we hear it, we believe it. And then, very often, we find out that it's not true. What happens? Do people really believe the truth? Not always. I heard a story that there was a, a news item that a place was set on fire, that there was kerosene in the building, and that's why the fire started. They investigated and found there was no kerosene. But then if you ask people afterwards, even when the news changed, what started the fire, they all said it was kerosene. So you see, when we hear something, and especially if it has been repeated again and again and again, we don't change what we believe. I find this all the time when I'm working with people who stutter. For instance, when, we're, uh, when they're doing the activities with me, and I direct them to do what you need to do to speak naturally. They speak beautifully. They don't feel like it's really them, so I have them uh, record themselves and listen back. And then they listen and they say, hey, this sounds really good. This does sound like me. Just, it's flowing, it's fluent. And they think it sounds great. And then the next week, 
they come back and they do it the same thing and they say, but this doesn't sound natural. So I have them record it and they listen. Wow, does this sound great? You know how many times we have to go over this activity until the person really gets it into their belief system that speaking naturally sounds natural? It is a human condition. It's nothing that we can blame ourselves for. We're human. I hear something and I believe it. And then it takes a while if the evidence shows that I'm wrong. But we have to be aware. And if we're going to move forward with the ability to help people who stutter, we have to get out of our old belief system. If you're a person who stutters, listen to the evidence that's within you. Search out the evidence. Once you see what is really true, it will be so much easier for you to move on and change those old belief systems. This is a challenge of every stuttering therapy. We have to stop believing I can't. We have to stop believing it's impossible. We have to start believing there is a way, I can find the way, I'm going to find the way, and I'll make that way happen. You can do it, you know you can do it. Listen to this again and again, because it will help you change your beliefs. I know you can do it. It does take time and it is a challenge but you're up to it. I know you are.